It's, very, it's my pleasure to hear, and uh, I would like to introduce myself again. My name is April Yen, and uh, I am the oh, I am the vice president of this semester, and uh, many of you have already get familiar with my presence. But do you know the reason why I decided to become a two semester? No. What, what charisma does this place have that the girl devoted herself wholeheartedly and now standing here to pursue the chance to become the leader? Let's take back to the September of 2009. On the hot and sticky evening, there's a girl, so naive and tired as she used to be. She came in the second student activity center with the head of sweat, grabbed one piece of paper and hide herself in the unnoticed corner. When Abby, the president at that time, turned on the microphone and welcomed the audience joyfully, from then on, I know something had changed forever. It was an impressive demo. A couple of outstanding speakers did trigger my underlying ambition. For the first time, I realized that how amazing could the person enchanted the audience merely by saying words. With the voice turning ups and downs, I could totally immerse in the story and the background knowledge that the speaker gave us. Apart from touching stories, I also learned a lot from numbers which had magical powers. For example, Zhe Liang demonstrated the power of three if you would like to apply for a job which has competitive situation, you need at least three recommended leaders. And after that, weekly meetings became the most fun event in my life. It guided me to know more about the world that I once underestimated. This speaker spoke so well, he almost took my breath away. And at that time, I asked myself, Aside from the page of script made of simple vocabulary, a sense of humor was vital to achieve such success. Nothing, nothing but confidence. Wow, for how much time and efforts they spent on to achieve such a, to achieve such outcome. How long do they spend to practice? That is a good question, yes, and I decided to stay here and have a further look. <clears throat> the longer I stay, the closer I realize the core value of two semesters. It's the place to share life stories. It's the place to build mutual support in friendship. It's the place to allow yourself to feel sorrow. It's the place to unveil your dream. That you may not dare to speak out loud before. In the second semester of my participation, I was invited to play as an officer, PRVP deputy, because I like to talk to people with various topics as I desire. Communication and leadership seemed easy for me at that time. While the following two year long experience in officer's team responded me with a completely opposite tune. It's the first time I taste the bitterness of failure, for I had poor understanding of time management, thus postponed the efficiency of the team. <coughs> My partner's face is turning blue and disappointed. I did let someone down. And this kind of feeling is quite hard to be described in words. With so much sorrow and regret, I sat down to find out who I was and who I could be. In the search of self, it's never an easy way. I've kept on and never stopped. If I had never met so dear friends like you, maybe I was still the one that struck myself in a circular self-denial, yet aware the importance of changing myself. In Toastmasters, I learned to embrace the weakness of myself and try to fix it. I learned to soothe the sorrow of others. 
I learned to pass the love and enthusiasm that I inherited from my mentor and dear partners. Communication and leadership, two words printed on every brochure of Toastmasters. They are much more easier to say than to practice. Since we're given birth to the world, we're deposited in different environments and fed with different resources, thus having met different people and life events. They all contributed to, to who we are now. Just like fertilizing a little flower, with the care and tolerance, we gradually grew up mentally, so am I. The constant awareness of balanced opinions between multiple parties and contemplation of our future condition lies in my mind because we are a team, more than a collection of capable individuals. Compared as glucose, when combined together as polysaccharide, we need to dehydrate one water particle when bonding. I think this kind of scientific flow to be compared to the spirit of leadership. Devote ourselves to sustain communion. Every person has unique characters and ways of thinking to reach consensus. It is an important work, and I do really good at communication. I like to work with various people to discover the potential that lies behind your rational eyes to inspire a team and lead forward to the common goal. How to reach this? Nothing but communication. And I believe that the reason why a team is formed is also about communication. And communication roots from the love, the love for Toastmasters, our spiritual home. We're blessed with a legacy from previous generations. I regard myself as emotional bridge to connect senior and junior members, and we will re-rise the glory again. I know it is time to feed back to our sweet home. I know it is time to guide newer generations heading forward to another rising in NTTM. It is a time to face breaking through and innovation, while the everlasting remembrance of our values will preserve as it used to be, speaking and sharing. And then now, here comes to the question that who will be the successor of Bill? And uh, this is Bill. <laughs> <laughs> We move on to an important question. What situation that we're now facing? And what's the structure of future plans? I will divide it and initialize it as DADU, D-A-D-U. D represents discontinuity between senior and junior generations. A represents age diversity among members. D, job. D represents job height in long performed projects. U represents unfamiliarity with new area associates. Thanks to your devotion and participation, this semester we've experienced a phenomenal success in membership. The average grade of new member participation reaches the youngest record. Nevertheless, with further inspection, here's a tricky situation. Seniors are well experienced in official affairs, but too busy to direct creative projects. Juniors are passionate and willing to partake in TM events, while not quite speed on official duties. How to train juniors well and pass the wisdom smoothly? That would be the A-list presidential principle that I own. In order to solve this phenomenon, in order to solve this question, I will adjust the proportion of juniors in my officer's team and recruit junior members who have strong intention in further learning as much as possible. Second, Toastmasters
Master's Fields of Expression with worldwide communication and interdependent support. We are proud of Polybase members. Diversified backgrounds as color to sparkle the different ways of thinking, and we can broaden our horizon. For example, prepared speech session is typical to support my viewpoints. We can travel around the world without actual arrival. Even we can explore the world and beyond. Right here, a small square and a quality microphone we build up unforgettable success. You can't be apathetic about the remarkable improvement of our dear friends around us. To conquer the first time to stand on a stage, to be more skillful with public speaking. Every time we got keyed up when we listen to adventurous speeches, even shared with peers. At that time, I was amazed by the confidence that every one of you own in your heart. And someone told me, if you want to be a president, you have to be confident enough. But what is confident, actually? This question once bothered me a lot. I didn't realize the core meaning until reading a little paragraph as follows. I reject meaningless competition. Confidence is not a functional capacity. Confidence is the belief that you are unique and capable of realizing your dreams. And you really are. On the way to self-achievement, we have fear as an uninvited friend. It is natural to fear unknown conditions. That's what I used to be. But now, with the support of Toastmasters, we successfully go through the darkest moment before sunrise. And we shall restart with a new chapter in the future. This year, we're assigned to join Area 1. We had nice, nice interaction with neighbors and gradually acquainted with them. Such fruitful achievement worth further development. With frequent interaction between other teams and appreciate various friends that we learn from others. Compared to countless promotion from officers, I think to experience is the best way to know. Since we are student oriented, to visit other clubs is helpful for sharpening our academic capacity. I will add up the times of joint meetings and club visiting coming up in winter interval. And I would like to, I would like to promote the refinement of design meetings and make it as a seasonal event. With the aid of newly born family system, diversified generations are smoothly integrated as a unifying team capable of setting creative projects and detailed works. I would like to make cooperation between family system and design meetings. It can be a platform for presentation of three families. Additionally, all the special meetings conducted by previous officers, <coughs> like the fossil club, the freshman club, the Christmas meeting, and joint meetings. These creative ideas can be better directed if we unify them with the brand of design meetings. It's a reformation of official events, but the core spirit of these events will remain as the original is, speaking and sharing. There are three major benefits for this policy. First, it is relatively easier for juniors to enforce. To make our future official work more efficiently, it's imperative to simplify multiple items which may confuse officers of its significance. If necessary, we can turn design meetings as monthly events if you want to. Second, in next semester, we have two important campus events, Azalea Festival and Graduation Ceremony. Based on conventional structure, I think it is allowable to design some creative sessions to observe the annual events. Third, it is helpful to promote until TM with this signified activity as routine. It depends on the needs of every semester, 
and okay for adjustment to suit officers' expectation in following semesters. Third, the reset of design meetings is helpful for us to build positive interaction with other TN associates. Toastmasters is a national organization. At least 360 branches around Taiwan, almost 40 in Taipei City. We can show our enthusiasm and hospitality that we're proud by inviting other TN friends to enjoy design meetings with others. <coughs> At last, I would like to uh, make some clarification about the policy. That is educational projects with elementary schools. Because some of you may have no idea about this project, I would like to make a brief introduction first. This project has been well practiced in NTUTM at least six years. Its foundational idea came from a simple way. When it comes to interaction with younger children, what to do to communicate well? Today, we're here for sharpening our communicative skills. No matter how well we speak, English is fun in itself. And at the same time, we conduct this project that we can train the communicative capability. After the semi-decades, previous officers re-emphasize its social meaning. We're given ample resources to study in NTU. If we didn't have the support of other people in Taiwan, we would never sit here sadly and enjoy today's meeting. Now, we're able to give to others to make good use of English. I would like to invite all of you to stand up and join this project, <coughs> pass the love and, re and resources down to younger fellows to speak and to share. That is the vital spirit of NTUTN. I believe this project is the best way to actualize it. <coughs> and I want to respond the reason I wanted to start this includes it is the best thing to communicate us and to make new members to get acquainted with official works. You could direct an activity and you could learn how to communicate with official works. I want to restart this project with new content. The structure of educational project of elementary school will remain as follows. Design a 40-minute session for children whose age varies from 7 to 12. I will make emphasis on pursuing higher qualities and reforming content, which kinds of the educational session is familiar to younger fellows, and how to design suitable teaching materials that meets both of our expectation. I believe we will make it work smoothly I sincerely invite all of you to join us with your friends. It's a trip full of wonders and amazement. NTUTM is like a sweet home for long lost wonders like us. Here, we stayed up of our comfort zone and make a change. Here, we learn to become a better communicator and create historical of self achievement and peer recognition. Just like our mother, she has witnessed many beautiful moments of our girl. Two years passed fastly. The girl in greatness sneakily came in NTU team classroom, now became the confident girl who wishes for devotion to her. Gradual improvement has become the subtle streams out of thankfulness. The love for our mother is the energy that supports me to move on. It lies so deep that I can even be sure it is qualified to name love. This semester, with your companion, I have the courage to move on and wish for a brand new start. I can see the underlying sparkle which awaits to be completed in juniors, just like who I used to be. Change itself is not hard work, but the belief and perseverance to stand for change is the most difficult one. We'll keep on thinking, keep on walking, and keep on improving. Now, I would probably say, 
To be a Toastmaster is the happiest decision I've ever made. We dared to dream and fulfilled it. On the way to complete ourselves, we're never alone. Toastmasters of the Union.